Hello and welcome to exercise one, lesson 16. We're going to use our knowledge of four loops to solve this problem. We're going to make a countdown, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. But notice that there's a blank, uh, a blank line inserted between each one of them. So we want it formatted the same. And then at the end, we want it to say blast off. So you could obviously put print statements for each one of these guys, but then you'd have 10 print statements, then the blast off, and it would just get cumbersome. So here is our main method, and we can see everything is contained in this little tiny body of code here. We're going to create an integer to hold the countdown number, and then we're going to have a for loop. We're going to initialize the countdown at 10, because the countdown starts at 10, and we're going to continue running the for loop as long as the countdown is greater than or equal to zero, and every time we cycle through the for loop, we're going to subtract one from the countdown. So you can see every time we go through, it's going to go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and the loop is going to continue going until uh, this statement's no longer true. So for as long as countdown's greater than or equal to zero, as soon as it counts down to negative one, it's going to stop and it's not going to actually work uh, there. So every time it cycles through, we're going to have a single print statement. The print statement is going to print the number, and then we're going to append to it. Here's where we get that blank line here. Uh, so it's all in one statement here. So we're going to put the number, and then we're going to have a carriage return line feed to give us that blank line. Uh, because we already get one at the end of the print line statement, we're getting another one in here, so we get that blank line in there. So this runs until that's exhausted, and then after the for loop is completely done, this sits outside of the for loop, and it just gets, it gets executed right before the program closes. So blast off is the very last thing. Uh, notice blast off doesn't get printed everywhere, you know, here inside the loop because it's sitting outside of the loop. So we'll go ahead and save that, and then we'll go ahead and hit run and see what we have. And we've got a very large amount here, so let me drag this up so you can see everything. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, blast off. And that is exactly what we were trying uh, to do. Now the only difference here is in our original problem, we wanted it to stop at one and then go to blast off. And here it went to zero and then printed blast off. And that's because of the termination condition right here. I had countdown greater than equal to zero. That means that whenever the countdown number reaches zero, it's still going to print that one there. So if we want to just kind of stay with what we wanted in our problem, we'll just change that to a one. And let's go ahead and rerun that now. And let's see if it matches up. So here we go, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then blast off. So again, four, we initialize the counter variable. We have the termination condition. We're going to keep running the loop while this is true. And then we have however we're going to increment. In this case, we're decrementing the countdown variable. And then this is the single line that we're going to execute each time we pass through the for loop. 